Hello, my great and wonderful people. We welcome you once again to our today's episode of this program. And today we get this mockery message to Nigerians when it be said we they receive from the Minister of State for Petroleum Resources when it be said in name now Chief Silver. And the title of this one when it be said we they receive talk say for price hike. Say Nigerians say they will so get used to this very price when the be said they don't increase to 170 naira. So this one are the one when the be said we receive from the Minister of Petroleum Resources when the be said in name na silver. And this new reached our table November 17th, 2020. You know, in the beginning we say na mockery message. Yes, na really mockery message. For the Minister of Petroleum to talk, say Nigerians, they say they will soon they used to the price of fuel when they basically they put for 170 naira. All right, maybe we just do one or two read it, then we'll conclude that together for the coming session. And as we put our hand there for inside this matter, the comic us understand the Minister of State for Petroleum Resources, when they basically in name now, Chief Temipre. Siva say yesterday he assured Nigerians say we will soon get used to the deregulation of the pump price for petroleum product, just as we don't become used to the case of kerosene and also with the one of diesel. And as we put our hand deep in the counter, say the minister when he say in name na Siva, so he also told say the money when he said the government the end say it don't reduce by sixty percent, including the resources. When it be said that they generate by the Federal Island Revenue Service, when it be said they see they call FIROS, when it be said it they push the nation's economic under serious pressure. And still on top of the matter, the comicos understand say, as they speak to the state house correspondent after the routine briefing of President Muhammadu Buhari for presidential villa for Abuja. And again, the counter say Chief Siva in Tosi. Diesel and kerosene say that they even more important to ordinary citizens than petrol. And be say most of the elites for inside this country they use. And again, it can explain most of the trucks when it be say that they move food products from one part of the country to another say that they use diesel. Why it be say most of Nigerian masses that they use kerosene when it be say they don't already increase the price since. And again, the counter say, according to this man, so when he be saying that he be the Minister of Petroleum Resources, he does say, make we look at this very situation. Where he be say, kerosene, when he be say, most of the Nigerians that they use, they don't increase in TT. The desire, when he be say, if they very, very important, when he be say, that they move goods and services around, they don't increase in TT. Here, we they talk about fuel, when he be say, poorest people for inside this country, a tarot with more. Why I talk so? If it be say we want transport food from the north to the south, we always use truck. And that truck so, it they use diesel, not be petrol. Those truck, when it be say they use to the transport those food from the north to the south, say they usually they use diesel to run this uh, journey as in talk before. Erosine and is something when it be say Nigerians supposed to prefer, make it day for the lowest level for our society. This one, the don't regulate the price don't go up. So, waiting can be the problem to deregulate petrol. When it be say, the people, when they get money, now it mostly the user. Make we day very fair for inside this country. Make we day fair to the poor people even for inside this country. And for us to conclude this matter, in Koto say, if it be say we don't increase those things when it be say the commonly they use, which is the desert and kerosene, then say actually no reason why it be say we will continue to the subsidize petrol. I feel so. This one are my personal feelings. All right, my great and wonderful people, to God be the glory, say now your own personal feelings, just as we don't bring this news to an end. This one are the word when it be said we receive from the Minister of Petroleum. This one a Minister of Petroleum, not be just ordinary Nigeria. Now this one is supposed to be the person when it be said supposed to speak for the voiceless. Now to in now, if they speak to the for the voiceless, 
If they consider the poorest people say, the thing when it be said that they commonly they use, which is kerosene and diesel, say they don't increase the TT. Why it can't be say now when they want increase petrol? When it be say now politicians they use, then why there will be problem? To run now, say now only politicians are the geka. To run now, he not understand say now this way, now he be our common a uh, source of energy. When it be say we take the get light. You don't understand. See, now we, even they use the fuel pass because of generator. You don't let them understand. See, who not get face me and face you generator? It will get the big one when it be say yes. In one way or the other, a day like this, not the pass when it be say yes, we know they use this fuel. Eh? Okay, now go think to run if we say, may we ask this silver so. When it be say, you don't know in front from your own back so. Now go think for run. For him to come as I say, now they don't increase uh, diesel and also kerosene. Tete. Something when he be say yes, he know if he truly say he sense they in own head, he they reason properly. Now right thing for run, when he knows okay, this is the common for the masses to use when he be say they, they increase them. Tete. He want to stand upon that very pillar now say okay, because I say they don't increase them, Nigeria not talk. They don't increase uh, desert and kerosene. Nigerians don't react. Then, to run now, say, na elites, the politicians are in the use for it. So, Nigerians don't get any reason to talk. So, make the increase. You just get, see how these people think they think only one side. You understand? To run now, Nigerians, as we talked earlier, they're not the use for Eh? All these politicians, when it is saying things, say, you want to stand and say, eh, it this the side of. To run now, to run now. In one talk now, in day for the side of masses. If waiting masses, they always get interest for. They don't increase them. Why they not go increase the one when they say politicians they use? And he not let them know, say, as he be, when he be politician, so, say, they themselves not even they use the fuel because they, they fly. Yes, they get their own allowances when they say that they fly. They also get their allowances when they say, even in regards to this fuel. They, they supply them, they know they buy by their own self. Now, we, when it be the masses, the small one, when it be say we even feel buy as a car, now we the user. Apart from this car, majority of us, when it be say you know, even get car, now we the user, they burn our generator on daily basis. You know how many liters of fuel we the use on daily basis to, 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 to light our generator? What, what is this man they talk? Eh? Wait till this man they talk, and if they talk and now, for according to Ran, for in conclusion, say, oh, say we will soon get used to Ran. This man, you will get used to poverty. You will get used to torment. You and your family, Una will get used to pain. Yes, for you to even consider, say, Nigerians will soon get used to this very matter. So, as a minister of transportation, for you to stand up to say, this thing not they good. For Nigerian to the back, a liter of oil, 170 naira. How many liters they want buy for them to lift up their generator eh, for the whole day? When you know, say, they know they get no light for this country. If not only that one be the point when you say, we're not supposed to stand in as much as we don't feel give these people light. Now, this way, now they take they generate their own electricity by their own self. May we put them for the, at least the price when you say, they themselves will feel buy them. They will feel afford them. You know if you stand like that, eh? You stand up and say, we're soon used to run. You and your family, as we talked earlier before, who now we're soon used to torment from God, who, not be from man. Even as much as you stand on that position, this very position, so, say, the only thing when you feel talk concerning this matter, even as God don't give you power to become the head for that place, so, when it be say, you're supposed to use your power to fight for the masses, so they fight for us, for the negative side. Now, so God will give you a portion when it be say you yourself. You will put your hand for your eye, you know, we'll see. All right, my great and wonderful people. I will leave Unana make una share una opinion with us for the comment section, even as we leave you to watch this next video. We'll come back for the conclusion. My name is Honorable EJ Abwanyima, representing the good people of Ego, Kubaha Federal Constituency, Edo State. Like I've often said, one of the most marginalized constituencies in our dear nation. Mr. Speaker, I want to stand to say that this house, this honorable 
a session of these great men and women, 360 members of the House of Representatives, are here to represent our various constituency. And we are elected to represent the people. They said democracy is for the people, by the people, and of the people. Mr. Speaker, I believe this budget is a budget of, of litmate and recovery to deliver Nigeria from recession, to deliver Nigeria from hunger and poverty, to deliver Nigeria from struggle. This is my hope, and this is my belief, and I'm hoping for a better Nigeria. I have often said, if we don't empower the youth, if you allow the rich to steal all the wealth, and they go to sleep, when they are sleeping and the youth are awake, guess what is going to happen to you? You'll be dead with. So we must do everything humanly possible, Mr. Speaker and dear colleagues, to have the youth interest seriously in this budget. What do we have for the youth? Listen, 891 million, 822, 23,000, 918 Naira only for the youth. And we are talking about youth empowerment. Are we just making mockery of the youth? Are we really serious about this country? Mr. Speaker and dear colleagues, I am challenging. I'm appealing. I'm saying, yes, I see this budget of budget of upliftment and recovery to empower this great nation. And I said, Something good can come out of Nigeria. And I believe it. All right, my great and wonderful people. I believe say all of you don't listen to this very man. Una don't listen to her. For the budget of 2021, here amount when it be said they set aside for the youth. Now this same youth they say now he be the leader of tomorrow. Now this same youth, now they say they want to build to make sure say, okay, they regulate this country. Now this same youth, now they tell us, okay. The issue of this uh, building infrastructure and all that, they get budget for. For all the things when the business they don't budget, you hear waiting this honorable read out for the part of the youth as a broad budget for the youth. Now this one, these people say they they're ready to make this country better. You know, I so much love this man of the video when the business we published yesterday. I don't really know what be this man when he talks, say. No be to allow the Southeast or the South South to come as a president to rule this country. That will not be the problem. The problem be say the constitution. The, that 1999 constitution say na as a na bag of evil intention to make sure say they continue to put Nigerians for perpetual bondage. If we not do away with that constitution, there is no way when it be say anything when it be say we intend to do. When it be say it will come as we need them. Because these people, they so much prepared that constitution to the extent when it be say anything, when it good, when it be say that constitution one result to, it will be for them and for them alone, not be for the good people of Nigeria. So anybody, when it be say they tend to think otherwise, you are on your own. Yes, now just the true conclusion of every matter, now it be that one. So if we defeat, May we know what we will fight for. All right, my great and wonderful people. I will leave you now and make you share your opinion with us for the comment section. And also, we still want you this moment to appreciate each and every one of you. I want to be say a day with us up to this moment. God Almighty will richly bless you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. I bet make you not forget to help us to share this one as you always do. And as you do so, God Almighty will bless you. We would like to draw the conclusion of this program here. We will see you again when we see you. Remember, we love you all. Bye-bye.